Hey there, and welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to look at idiosyncrasy in make array. Let's say that uh, we're going to make an array. It's going to have 10 elements, and I want every element to begin with its initial uh, value of every element in the array to be the number 9. Well, that's cool. That, that's exactly what I wanted. Now let's say I want to do the same thing, but I want every element of the array to be a hash table. And it seems so simple. I'm just going to do make hash table, and there we are. We've got exactly what we wanted. I'm going to make another temporary variable here um, to store this hash table just while we work with it. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to take the first hash table out uh, in this array and add something to it. So I'm going to do set. I'm going to get the get hash. Um, the key is going to be foo. The, table, the hash table we're using is going to be the first element of uh, temp0, so that's element 0. And we're going to set it to 100. Let's just do that. Everything's worked! Brilliant! But now when we look at temp0, whoops, I'm doing that wrong, temp0, we can see that all of these hash tables have one value in them. What happened? The important thing is, that um, initial element is evaluated exactly once, and the result of that is used for every element in the array. Now, this really caught me out in an actual project I was working on, so it's worth remembering, is that uh, if you use initial element, number's probably fine, but if you use an object, that's going to be put everywhere, and that might not be what you've been after. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in another episode.